All right, coming up 8 o'clock, 23rd of June, 2023. This will be an update for Texas weather, but for what it's worth, meteorologist Jason Cooley is about 55 miles northeast of Cheyenne, Wyoming, streaming tornadoes live on the Texas Storm Chasers YouTube channel. All right, we've got a couple different areas of rowdy storms early this evening in Texas. Storms in East Texas have taken a chill pill. They have weakened below severe limits on the way to dissipating. We have a severe thunderstorm in the city of Houston dropping some hail, damaging winds, very heavy rainfall, quite a bit of cloud to ground lightning. We have a cluster of severe storms now moving through San Angelo on its way towards Eden and Menard. That could have winds over 70 to 75 miles an hour. Severe storm moving towards Sweetwater. That could have a bit of hail and damaging winds. Otherwise, we continue to monitor scattered severe storms. One storm brought softball-sized hail the city of Lubbock. Y'all didn't think you were going to get to skip out on this. You know what? Most of us out in the eastern parts of Texas have had baseball, softball-sized hail galore the last few weeks. Y'all got to join in today. Welcome to that party. You didn't want an invite, but you got invited anyway. I'm sorry. Okay, so we had softballs in Lubbock. We probably got some pretty big hail right now falling on Interstate 27 around Plainview. That storm could have hail, pretty big hail, and damaging straight line winds along with my chair breaking on me apparently. And that's moving down towards Floyd Data and Lockney. Otherwise, we are going to continue with thunderstorms the next few hours, especially the Concho Valley, the big country, West Texas. Storms across southeast Texas, east Texas will continue to weaken over the next few hours as we lose daytime heating, or at least sunlight. And then we'll be watching for storms out west, just in case they form into a cluster. But at this point, they haven't. And so we'll just see. We might be done here by 10, 11 o'clock if those don't grow up scale, but if they do, we could have a small cluster of storms move east through the evening hours with damaging straight line winds. You can keep an eye on the sky with the Texas Storm Chasers Interactive Weather Radar on our website, texasstormchasers.com slash radar, and the free Texas Storm Chasers mobile app.